We're back, bitches! Welcome back to <laughs> Children of the Corona. I'm your host, Mike Osiris, and I'm joined today by my lovely co-hosts, Zero and Emily G. Um, we don't know where Unknown B is, um, but yeah. will pop in eventually. <laughs> yeah, and um, we do have a guest today. Introducing uh, Caitlin Singh. Say hi. Hello. All right. So, um, okay. She runs a YouTube channel. And uh, why don't you describe it a bit, Kate? Okay. So, basically, my channel is for singing videos, mostly Broadway, but I will do some other stuff like Melanie Martinez or Pop mm-hmm. Hits if they're actually good. Okay. And then some random vlog videos. All right. Um, yeah, so if that sounds interesting to any of you watching, uh, be sure to check it out. Link will be in the description. But, uh, yeah, how about we just get into it? Where have we been? Um, these past two weeks have been quite interesting, to say the least. Um, my computer kind of died on me, and it was entirely my fault. Um, I tried to, I was hacking my 3DS, right? And um, I get the idea, like, maybe this will go faster if I transfer all the files from the SD card onto the computer and then just put it on the new SD card. Problem with that is um, the goddamn SD card was corrupted and Windows was trying to fix it. And I get the bright idea. Let me take it out. I don't want it to do this shit right now. This looks like it'll take a while. And it corrupts the entire system. The entire OS is fucked. Windows 10 doesn't even work on it. So I can't even reset it to factory settings. So, yeah. Um, We've been going without that for two weeks. I have to use my older computer, which is a complete piece of shit, uh, until my new computer comes, which is why I've just been using my main channel to shit post. But, um, yeah, I got an adapter piece because uh, my old computer only has one headphone jack that separates the headphones from the microphone. And um, I'm using that, and now we're good to do another episode. So we are back. But yeah, that's where we've been for two weeks. Um, And it's all my fault. (laughs) So um, how about we just get right into the topic of the day now that I've explained what happened. Um, I think it'd be fun to talk about uh, plot holes in our favorite movies and TV shows and why they don't make any sense in the grand scheme of things. Um, you guys want to start, or should I? You start, because I'm scatterbrained. <laughs> okay, um, I'll go with one that um, that a lot of people know about to start, uh, Toy Story. Um, so, like, for the entire thing, the toys, like, they just, you know, freeze and go limp every time a kid comes into the room. Um... And Buzz Lightyear, he didn't think he was a toy. He thought he was a space ranger. So why did he go limp with the other toys as soon as somebody walked into the room? Oh, my God. I've never really... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that and... Um, learn something new. That and, uh, Mr. Potato <laughs> Head. There was a scene where he stuck his plastic pieces of, like, his eyes and ears and shit into a tortilla... And he was able to control that. Um, think of the implications for that. Like, what? Do you stick googly eyes on a fucking brick and then that brick's now a sentient toy? And it's like... A story for with for, for you, for you, whatever. Or, or if it's like... Spork with googly eyes. Yeah, that too. And um, forky. what is it? Like, um, as long as uh, you play with something, is that considered a toy? And then does that get sentient life? Because if so, oh, there's shit. a lot. Because if so, there's a lot of blow up know, dolls that I... are talking. Well, was, and, yeah, but... but yeah, um, Woody and Buzz will probably oh, be surprised that Andy's mom has toys of the exact same name. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Of. <laughs> He's like, um, Andy's toys go to his mom's room. Wow, we never seen you toys before. And, Andy's mother's toys. Hey, we're named Woody and Buzz too, but for different reasons. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> with, with, with Mr. Potato Head literally possessing a tortilla, I, I just want to make the statement. If you know how a lot of like um, toy brands advertise that, like, you know, 
some toys aren't suitable for children under a certain age because it's a choking hazard. They might swallow it for whatever fucking reason that looks appetizing, right? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so theoretically speaking, if a, a, if a small child consumes most of the pieces to a Mr. Potato Head, oh, can Mr. No. Potato Head take over their body? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god. What if they cut holes in Andy and then stick Mr. Potato Head's pieces in there? Does he get control of that human body? Like, think about it like this. The toys in Toy Story are actually busted from the simple fact that, like, they can literally be missing limbs and still operate fine. Yeah. They don't even feel pain. They just they just, they just, just get mild discomfort. They're like, I think oh, they established legs. that they feel pain with, what's his name? Was it Sid or whatever? The crazy kid who yeah. stuck the piece at the... Yeah. Like, do they Damn. actually? I think yeah, so. I don't, I don't... It's been a hot minute since I've seen Toy Story, but I... Pretty sure in the first one they had the kid who like assembled Barbies and like put their yeah. heads on different things, oh, which is yeah. like looking back, like that was really gruesome because we were all kids and we were like, "Wow, our toys are alive!" And then they were like, "Here's toy torture." Oh my god! Yeah, no, they literally made amalgamates. Holy right. shit! All right. And all the toys are like, "Help me!" Okay, I've got one for <laughs> Avengers: Infinity War. Um, if oh, Doc, dude. if Doc. If Doctor Strange could do that portal thing for the epic entrance, then why couldn't he and Tony Stark return home? Like, why are they worrying about returning home after losing to Thanos? I think that was because Strange got dusted. So uh, it was just... <laughs> yeah, he did get but dusted. But one plot hole for that is, in the Thor movies, they established that when Loki does die, he turns blue because of his um, DNA and all that. But in Endgame, when Thanos killed him, if you didn't know that already, you're late to the party. Sorry, spoilers, whatever. But he didn't turn blue, so it's like, is he actually really dead? You know what I mean? Like, that's another right, plot. Right. That's oh, like, you think it's like, like a fake Loki, or maybe like Loki just... Yeah, because like, it's yeah, not the first time he faked everyone. his death, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Okay, um... Like, here's one that's more general. Like, um, pretty much every yeah. war movie Sorry, ever... <laughs> Like, pretty much every war movie ever made, right? Okay, so it's like, um, you'll see the guy oh. running, what, running like he's dead in the middle of the shit, and it's like he's just running through the field, and then, like, a shell goes off, like, ten feet away from him. But he just ducks and keeps running, as if shrapnel doesn't exist. Like, he'd be dead. Like, when the main characters are in a, a car chase, and they crash the car, but then they get out perfectly fine. Like, yeah, they didn't just, just like, hit the airbags in the side of the door wearing seatbelts two seconds ago like right sorry that's that's another thing that pisses me off like you're driving fast cars and you either they're like they're perfectly fine without a chase like bullets going everywhere and it's like you would have been shot your car would have been shot you're dead why are you still here right or like any action movie where a character gets injured and then they're like oh in the moment they're all like oh it hurts and then they put a bandage on it and they're like all right i'm ready to roll like that's not how medicine works. Huh. Anyway, continue. <laughs> uh, like, uh, now that I set the stage, does anyone else have one? Or Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, the ta- no, not the Tales of Xanthora. I don't even remember the name of it. Just Xanthora, maybe? It's essentially just this movie about, like, two kids. And they're playing this board game inside their house, and then um it, it's basically like space jumanji because they find themselves in actual space one of the brothers just fucking yes! flung out <laughs> okay so something that never made sense to me in that movie was like the dad in the very beginning of the movie in the very very beginning because in the very beginning and my memory's hazy on it and maybe it's just like my nostalgia talking but to my knowledge, in the beginning of the movie, when the older brother is bullying the, the younger brother, that's just like, ah, you're fine, don't worry. Right. And he's li- like, he's literally watching his like older brother like torment him, right? And then like later on, Dad's just like, fuck it, be nice to each other. And then just like at the end of the movie, when they like they finally start making amends, and like the older version of his brother leaves and shit. Oh yeah, that was awful. That <laughs> right. Yeah, that metaphorical analogy or whatever the fuck. He's like, I lived in space for all this time. How the f- well, first of all, how'd you live in the cold vacuum of space? Right. But and get us, but whatever. All right. So at the end of the movie, you know, they're all like cool and shit. And the dad's just like, hey, hmm. why are you nice to him? Right. <laughs> huh? <laughs> all 
I just thought of another one for Endgame. Um, like, here's... And this is, like, uh, why I have an issue with time travel movies in general, because it's damn near impossible to pull off without, you know, issues. Um, it's like, in Endgame, oh, yeah. like, um, they traveled to where Thanos was, and, uh, like, he destroyed the stones, right? So why didn't they just use the time travel mm -hmm. the second they figured it out to go back a week before Thanos destroyed the stones and do it then? Oh my god. Oh no. They should have just listened to Rhodey and killed him. Like they should have yeah. They were they were just like on such a mission. They were like, oh wait, no, wait, wasn't there an explanation? Like I think like, they did have an explanation for it. Didn't they say that like those stones from that reality were gone? Uh I think, but, um, like, no, not even. I think like, I'm saying he still had the stones a week before he destroyed them. He could have just, you know, they could have just traveled back in time a week uh, before he destroyed the stones, killed him then, bang, they bang, boom, the whole world works. Before. It was because they needed to get to the stones before Thanos had them, because they couldn't beat him with the stones, and they didn't want to just do that again. Imagine we ended up on Thanos for a second. Yeah, time. but like they're like, ambushing him the again. They had him held by like Mantis herself nearly took him the fuck down. I mean, now that she's gone, but still, you saw how they ambushed him <laughs> in that little hut of his. Like they had him submitted regardless of if he had the stones or not. They had him. They had but him submitted had the same so exact way in Infinity War. They could have just chopped his fucking head off right then, and it would have all been fine. Because they needed the stone. Oh, I, you know that's something you gotta ask the Russos about. I didn't write the script. Look, this is why yeah, time travel rarely ever works. But um, it yeah, like, looks about time. <laughs> there's so much complicated shit that the human mind can't even comprehend about it. So it's bound to fuck up. Like unless you're doing a completely not serious movie, I it it just seems like time travel is a topic to stay away from. Yeah. Like, because, uh, like, I was trying to find the movie that had the most similar rules to Avengers Endgame in terms of time travel, and I did find it, and you'll be surprised what movie that it's basically like. Bill and Ted. Hello, guys? No, no, we're here. We're yeah, here. Uh, sorry, I've never seen, so, uh, uh, Yeah, but, uh, it's like a comedy movie, like Keanu Reeves, some other guy. But um, yeah, it's like a comedy movie, and it like the rules are basically you can take whatever you want from the past just as long as you give it back. Like that's that's like the most lax way of doing it. Oh my god! Come on, Discord. Um, yeah, yeah, like. My Markiplier made a heist with Markiplier, and that had time travel involved in it, but it all actually added to the plot, which is really cool if you finished it. But like yeah, I did like, because I have no oh, free time. Wow. That's, that's just like, my... I don't know if any of you have done that, but when it came to the time travel and like all the different realities, like at the end, there was an, a secret ending that combined all of them and showed you the, act, the consequences of fucking with time. Right. Kind of deal. So like... That's like my example of like you use time travel, but it you fuck with the rules, but they fucked back kind of deal. Like there was no one solution or like oh we fiddled with time, but it's okay kind of deal. Like because it had consequences. Right, right. That makes sense. Like that's how I like my time travel. Like it's not so cut and dry. The rules aren't very clear. Yeah, but like your action. That's just my take on it. Unless you're doing a comedy movie, it's probably not a good idea to do a time travel concept unless you're able to think every single yeah, like part Eyes of it of through. Otherwise, it's <laughs> just gonna fall flat. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Yeah, like, if you haven't seen A Heist with Markiplier, check it out because they do that whole concept, like, they explore, like, every possible, most possible endings. You can choose it all yourself. And go back and again and again and choose different endings. Right. But it's all it's it's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Like your choices actually have consequences, and the consequences of fucking with time have consequences, and it's a whole thing, which is kind of fun. Right. Kinda, I enjoyed it. Mm. I spent way too long trying to get all the endings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, Katie. I believe you would have 
watched that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I did. No, I really you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Oh. Like, because they had the whole ending with Ro where it's like, oh, yeah, you fucked with time yeah. too much. And you're the only one here who I know, like, 100% probably knows what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> I, I saw, like, a bunch of people, like, like watching it and trying to get different endings. And I was just, like, the one person who, like, didn't do it because I was like, if I start it, I will obsess over it until I get every. <laughs> that was me. Ending. Janelle and I spent the whole time like, okay, we, at first we started, and then we heard how many endings there were, and Janelle and I were like, okay, get a piece of paper, we're gonna we're gonna crack this, and then we just <laughs> spent like the entire day like, okay, we did this, this, and this, and this. How do we get this ending? We got to do this, 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 and this. And then we have to do this, this, and this. And then we got to the end and we were missing one ending. And we were like, what haven't we done? What haven't we done? Huh. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Have any... hmm. Honestly. Hell oh. yeah. Um, okay, so this is like a one for like those stories where it's like, oh, um, an orphanage that's sponsored by the church is gonna go uh, uh is gonna go bankrupt if they can't pay back. So we gotta raise money for them. You know that type of plot. Oh yeah. 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 Here's why it doesn't work. Um, you know, churches don't pay real estate taxes. They don't have to pay bills for them to be up because they're religious institutions. So this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. You really don't have to raise money for you it. Know what I'm... Really... Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm. <laughs> The one plot that I really hate in movies, mostly rom like romance movies, which is why I don't really watch oh. things with heavy romance plots. It's like the we just met and I love you. Like that's not how it works. <laughs> you're not like we just made eye contact. Like you're hot. I if somebody <laughs> if somebody actually does that love at first sight thing, the second I saw you, I knew that we would get married in Morocco. Run the fuck away, like. <laughs> Yeah. My bags are packed and I'm out the door. Ten times out of ten, that chick is a crazy cunt. Yep. You can like the like, person who's been stalking you for months and has that secret shrine of you in their closet that you don't know about. Oh the, the my god. The secret shrine is in your closet. What do you fucking, mean? They live in your closet. Fucking Yandere simulator type um, shit. Yes. Uh, but instead yes. of a cum chalice, it's a fucking like <laughs> sweat chalice. We're really gonna go with that fucking meme. Oh yeah. Uh Yandere Wonder Sim. Uh Yandere yeah, Dev, you are enjoy. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, um, if I'm gonna keep it real, I feel like it, love at first sight, it's kinda like it's not I'm not gonna knock it and call it ridiculous, but I'm gonna say like it's fucking damn near impossible and it's kinda freaky when someone looks at you and they go, Hey, I know we've never spoken before and I just saw you like five seconds ago, but I can see a happy future of us and, and in the future, 30 years now, with two kids and, and a dog, like, back the fuck up, buddy. I don't even know if you like bagels. Calm down. You don't even know my name. <laughs> okay, guys, I yeah. got one more plot hole, and this is, like, a major one, okay? This, like, ruins the entire <laughs> movie. So, World War Z. Oh, no, here we go. Uh-oh. World War Z, right? Oh, no. Um, you remember how it was a big revelation that the people who have AIDS and HIV don't get targeted by zombies? You remember that part of it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How like the hell did it take dying. them that long to figure it out then? There should have been like hundreds of thousands of cases in the US alone of that. They should have been able to figure that out with like within a week. Oh, absolutely. I think it was one of those things where if people just got bit, like instead of waiting for them to turn, they just outright like cha ching loaded the shotgun, blew their heads off kind of deal. That even, could be one explanation. Right? Even then, that's not representative of every single person that was there. Like they should have seen it yeah. happen. They should have seen that absolutely nothing happened to the, to like everybody who happens to be in a support group for HIV and AIDS. Like there should have been hundreds of thousands of cases of that happening in the U.S. alone. I want to chalk it up to three things that I think could explain it, but I'm like unless a mix somebody of three things that unless somebody took the time to massacre everybody with AIDS right around the time of the zombie apocalypse, like just going full fucking Hitler on them. They should have been able to figure that out within a week. Not necessarily, because if you have those kind of, like, if you're already dying and then those zombie apocalypse happens, chances are the medication you need to keep on living, you can't just because get, you so have you're it. probably going to die. Anyway. Okay, then Second how, of all, then how did that leper... Want to live, 
Okay. Like, okay. Again, so going off of that, everyone. going off of that, how did that leper in Jerusalem last that long then? If he was dying, like, I don't fucking know. it's, it's not an immediate process. This is what I'm saying. This ruins the entire fucking movie for me. It's such a big plot hole. Yeah, like, my, my whole thing with that is, like, if you already have, like, a disease like cancer or AIDS or some chronic illness that's already killing you, and then something like the zombie apocalypse happens, unless you're in a hospital when it goes down, you're probably not going to last as long as, you know what I mean? I mean, if but did, if they're not be being costume. targeted at all, they would have seen that, oh my god, I have a major advantage over everyone here. Yeah, but you're also already dying, so would you kind of... Not you know immediately. I mean? like, I don't know. It's like, oh, yes. Like, doesn't kill you in three saving. days. My saving No, but like other things, because I know you had the cancer thing too, where like the kids who had cancer were okay and everyone was kind of like, oh, hey. Yeah, those still aren't immediate I mean, deaths though. Like, I know, but like they could, I'm not saying like everyone had this, but like it, you could have just been in pain. So you stayed inside. Or your the people around you put you down so you wouldn't suffer anymore, kind of deal. Like, I'm again, saying, not every case would have been like that. But I'm saying, like the NSA does exist. Here. They're constantly monitoring our every move. They would have seen the connection regardless of if you stayed in or not. Like, let's be honest here. Yeah, I'm not like saying this, this explains a hundred percent. Uh, like I could see that taking it to delay it, but it shouldn't have taken that long. I mean, th this whole thing just ruins the movie for me. Like, unless they were one hundred percent incompetent, they should have been able to see the, you know, the connection. <laughs> okay, so straight up, I'll just say it right here, right now. I agree with your point because that does make a whole lot of sense. Like, how would they only fucking see it way after that? Yeah, like more importantly. Imagine being the zombie that had to bite the like that had to figure that out too. You bite, you know, you're biting this guy. You're like, oh, he doesn't look too bad. He looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a little nibble at him. Hey, it's kind of spicy though. <laughs> Why is it so spicy? Um, I, there's a book, a zombie book series called Rot and Ruin. That's really good. It's finished, by the way. I have yeah. all of them. If anyone wants to borrow them, but in that universe, zombies they also don't target dying people, but it's because they can smell that the people are already dying themselves, so they don't waste their time. Right. Uh -huh. so that could be one explanation for it. Like they can sense, they can sense each other, like other dead things, and they look at these people and they're like, oh, they're like us, and suicide. Hmm. You know how in like, the universe. Uh, I mean, that that whole thing would work if it's established that the government's fallen. But in World War Z, that is clearly not the case if they're still sending the main character on fucking yeah, missions and shit. Like, the government that. clearly okay. has not fallen yet, so they should have been able to see it. I'm just saying that. Like, in, yeah. in Rotten Ruin, yeah, like, if it's established that the government's already fallen, then it works. Otherwise, I wouldn't really say so. Yeah, like, in... I don't want to spoil anything because it's a really good series and I think you'd enjoy it, Michael, because it has a lot yep. of things you enjoy. I mean, yeah, um, I like the zombie shit, yeah. And it's all about, like, the morals of, like, if it, is it worse to kill a zombie or to kill bad people kind of thing? Right. And then it's all, like, how fucked is the government? Am I right, guys? Mm. And, like, it's a, it's a good series. They have swords. Um, In the series, it's all a stat, like, if you play by the zombie, like, um, they use things, like, smell and they use cadaver oils to like hide themselves from the zombies and stuff mm. and it works for the most part as long as you play dead too kind of deal like if you shuffle around but the minute you start moving fast they realize that their sense of smell is warped and they'll go after you anyway right so i, I feel like it does a good job of explaining why certain things happen and the loopholes to get around it but also the consequences too kind of deal that you enjoy so you don't get plot holes like Oh, they can smell dead things. So if I just, you know, right. roll around in dead bodies and then stroll around, they won't come after me because that's obviously not the case. Right. <laughs> Sorry, my coffee is really kicking in right now. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. It's also on Webtoons if you don't want to like read a book book. Like the creators made a deal with Webtoon and they're um, not an like animating in the sense that they're making it in a comic deal you know what i mean mm. is that making any sense i heard that like, there was can... one particular webtoon that got its own anime or something oh, yeah, stuff like that happens. 
Yeah, God of High School. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, the actual webtoon for God of High School was really cool. And it was actually around for a few years, more than what people realized. And really? Then when they find, yeah, and then when they finally struck that deal to like have it animated, a lot of people were really excited for it. But the only issue is that they they took a lot of creative liberties in the anime itself instead of keeping it just to like basically what it was in the in the, in the manga. And there's a lot of people that are kind of like upset, but oh, yeah. God, God of High School is still pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, um... I know a lot of dealers have deals with webtoons, and uh, some of the creators, and a lot of the creators are um, drawing up the stories in a comic book manga kind of sense, manga whatever. Um, but the Rot and Ruin one, because I read the books, is actually very accurate, and they haven't strayed from the canon too much yet. Mm. Like, there's artistic liberties with the characters, but if you read the book and then read um, the webtoon, it's spot on. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check out the webtoon then. Yeah, because you can eat. There's four books and then a fifth book of bonus stories, and I. It's really cool. There, it's. I love the universe. It's a. I love the series. But if you the webtoon updates every Monday or late Sunday, depending on how late you stay up, like I do. Right. So you can just go through and read, and it's accurate. They're about like a little over. They're towards the ending of book one. Like, I'm pretty sure they're around the halfway point, if memory serves. It's been a like it's been at least two years since I've read the first book. I have the ending, like the ending half of the series down on lock. But they're, they're getting close. They're like halfway, like middle halfway end sort of area. So they're almost done. But it's a good series, and they raise good points. Okay. Um, and then they say fuck the government. <laughs> okay, um let's move on to another topic. Um how, how's uh, anime? I hog that for a uh you guys have been watching any anime lately? Again, Janelle yes. just tells me. Janelle has a whole bunch of rec- my sister Janelle, for those of who don't know. I don't you guys know that, but people listening. Anyway, um she binges anime. She throws recommendations at me like every minute, and mm. I don't understand the things she tells me. And I, okay, I say, like, yeah, um, I'll check it out. Uh, tell us a recommendation that she gave you that um, you haven't seen yet, and um, if we've seen it, we'll tell you if it's any good or not. Oh, um, shoot, I have a whole list. She's oh god. My mind's blanking on me. Um, she wanted me to watch One Piece because I told you she's devouring that. Um, she recommended Banana Fish, um, something, Promise Neverland, something like that. Is oh, that that's what promise it's called? Promise Neverland. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I've heard things. <laughs> she's told me things. Things like Fire Force. Oh, my God. What else? Oh, she watches Fire. Hold on. Wait. Well, Fire Force is a cool shonen. And I'm pulling up her Funimation account. <laughs> Oh, um, I can see some of the things she's watching. There is a movie that I do recommend, an anime movie. It's like one of the best ones of all time. Um, have you ever heard of Tokyo Godfathers? I have heard. You've of told it. me about this, Mike. Yeah. Um, have you heard of it, Emily? Uh, no, I haven't. She's watching Free Yuri on okay. Ice Attack on Titans. Okay. Any of the works of Satoshi Kon are like some of the best things ever, but uh, Tokyo Godfathers, <laughs> I, that's the one I recommend. Like, I know you'll probably not get to it because you have like a laundry list of shit you need to watch, but yeah, like if you ever get around to it, you gotta watch. Oh that my god, movie. yes! It's like about three homeless people around Christmas time who find a baby outside of a dumpster <laughs> out back of a church. This. Yeah, yeah, and it's like they try to find the mother. She's fucked in the head, shit like that. Yeah, uh, it's like a really good movie. I have it on my phone actually. I downloaded it, got the subtitles off the internet. It's such a good movie. Mm-hmm. I think I watch it at yeah. least like once a week. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's when like, you come over, the only anime. And then I've also uh, been yeah, trying yeah. to get. I've also been trying to get Kate into anime. She did finish Death Note, and she's watching Full Metal Alchemist oh, now. I love Death Note. It's so funny, right? Oh, that's another oh, one you want me to watch. I watched Death Note. Yeah. That's all <laughs> are you having them watch um just normal full metal or are you having them watch brotherhood? um i'll i'm gonna have her watch normal first and then move on to brotherhood because brotherhood's basically just yeah, the manga watch that one. Oh, yeah yeah but um kate uh so what do you think what do you think about what you've watched so far 
I act. I love it. Uh, the only thing is like it actually does kick you in the gut, like you said, for other yeah. stuff. It it made me cry. Oh, death Note's I awesome, though, right? Like, yeah. How cool is that? I have a Death oh Note. <laughs> yeah, so do I. You're the shitty gummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got that same prop. It's pretty cool. Like, it's got like the names of all the names that like light wrote down in the show. It's fucking awesome. Oh wow! Yeah, and then there's blanks, so you can add your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for for, oh, no. for Miss Natalia back in third grade. I haven't <laughs> added to my. I can see I like some of those food. retards who believe in like witchcraft or something writing down the name of a political candidate they don't like. Oh, wasn't there a whole thing where like the school administration like found a death note like in a kid's locker and it had names of classmates and they were all like through it or whatever? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a meme? <laughs> yeah. Ow! Yeah. That, that guy, man. You cannot be Ooh. fucking serious, dude. I'm I, I, fucking shambles. What a fucking like, nerd. <laughs> Wasn't there a whole story and then like the whole like everyone took it seriously and they were like, this is a threat to <laughs> safety. Oh, oh my god. god. Just the biggest weave. Of- this is fucking- a serious threat in accusations because they didn't get they didn't know there was an anime or something like that. Like, that they fucking just kid is no going way. places. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I, I promise you right now, the same kid that like snitched on him is gonna be up in his like next four death notes. <laughs> Full on Elliot <laughs> Roger, dude. He's gonna like wake up the next day and just be like, "Why can't I move my everything?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a potato chip and eat it. <laughs> he's gonna fucking stand over and just start. Imagine like, writing the name and it the first time, seeing it doesn't work. And, like, just writing other names, and it's like, eh, at least this could be a coping mechanism for me. It could be my headcanon that it works. I don't fucking know. I'm a giant fucking loser. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I-, I want everyone to know that I write my name in everything. I would have been like, ooh, a notebook, and then wrote my <laughs> <laughs> No, that was, like, literally everybody in, like, junior high school. They would, like, see, like, a random piece of paper, and they would either just draw shit on it, or they would just write their fucking name. Like, I can my... imagine, like, just somebody yeah, finding real. a death note and just drawing dicks and swastikas in it. Yo! <laughs> I, I remember, like, kids in, like, junior high, like, on, on their last year, they would always, like, like wear a shirt that they didn't want, and they would just, like, you know, kids would just sign the fuck out of it. And I remember, like, and this, this, this is actually going to sound really bad on my part, actually. I don't know. If, oh, boy. Um, so, <laughs> in seventh grade... There was somebody I know uh, who I knew was going, who, you know, they were going to like high school as a freshman, and um, that was like gonna be like my last time seeing them in the cafeteria. So I was yeah. like, all right. I was like, let me sign your shirt. And they're like, yeah, sure. Where do you want to sign it? And I was like, anywhere it's free. And they just like turn around and they just point at like their lower back. And they're like, here, here's a free spot. And I'm just like, are you gonna stand up straight for me to do this? And they're like, oh yeah, you're right. And mind you, we're in the cafeteria, like by the lunch table. Oh, so they just fucking from the from like the hip down, they just bend across the table like, all right, go ahead and write. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. And I'd be like, oh, no. it's like if somebody's <laughs> walking around with a white t-shirt and a permanent marker saying, "Hey, you want to design my shirt? You don't want to give me that power, buddy. You don't want to do that." Oh, no. I already know that. I'm gonna draw a tramp stamp at the bottom of the fucking shirt. <laughs> Uh, you would. I could just see write, just write some random guy's name like fucking a bequeathius. It's like so everyone's like. It's like just write down there. Just write cum slut right on the fucking shirt. Oh my, oh my god. god! You don't want to give me that power, friend. You don't. You would be the one to write something like property of big daddy or something. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you just say like you just say some shit like fucking big like, daddy um, Bubba's trophy. <laughs> like Big D was in here. It's like who the fuck's Big D? I don't know. Arrow pointing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got you grabs like eighty guys' name like Habu. <laughs> but not nah, so you know she like bends across the table and she's like, "All right, you can write." Oh no! And I'm, and I'm like, and I'm like looking around and I'm like, "All right, no one's really paying attention." But the second I like I put my hand on her back to like I don't know like straighten out her shirt, I see like half the cafeteria just go. Whoa! <laughs> and I'm like, no, please, no. 
<laughs> so I'm like, I'm there like trying to write quickly and it's not like writing, right? It's just dragging. So I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? No. So I'm like, I'm trying my best to like press. So I'm basically I'm pressing down on this lady across the table, trying to write my name, and everyone's gonna be looked. I was just like, all right, I'm done here. So I like, I was like, and they're like, oh, they're like, oh, thank you, it's great. And they're like, they give me a hug and they leave. And like, I sit down for only a minute, and my like one of my own, uh, few friends back in the day, they walk over to me and they just put their hand on my shoulder and they just go, so since when? And I'm like, what do you mean since when? <laughs> oh no i want you to know i have tears in my eyes like i'm like so like it's like yeah. imagine just wearing a shirt with that just plainly says property of big daddy bubba and then you get arrested and then just from <laughs> the dark corner of the cell you just hear oh yo i like to cuddle you like to cuddle <laughs> it's just oh, like no. <laughs> you just, you, you abandon turn all hope then and there uh, so he, he don't even like. He don't even ask you. He just roll up on you. He's like, I like cuddling. So you're gonna have to make something yeah. happen. Yeah, he's just like, he's like, we gonna have to make something happen, little buddy. It's like, oh, she. <laughs> if this your way of paying for protection, you know that the price is the same for everyone. It's like I don't do no special discount just cause you my boys. <laughs> <laughs> but think of that most people think the second they get into prison they're like okay i'm gonna punch the biggest guy there and get respect what no. if the biggest guy no. No. what if Don't the biggest guy there is what if, what if the biggest guy there is just like this gigantic fucking living teddy bear and then you're just a, an absolute asshole for beating up on him and it's then like, everybody else comes and beat you up did this guy really just punch big hugs johnson Big hugs, Johnson. <laughs> like, I, 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 that nigga's fighting for his kid. Let it's like, no. Be. If you That's really want my... protection in prison on your first day, you just gotta go up to the biggest guy and offer to suck his dick for protection. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you oh talking like God. you're speaking from experience? <laughs> exactly. He was, he was the prison warden. He's seen it all. <laughs> Michael, what have you done? You know I have a <laughs> fucked sense of humor, okay? Don't even give me that. Sure. <laughs> oh uh, sure, sure. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Uh, oh. you know what? Uh, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a tidy topic change just because fuck. It's shit. only called it's it's called gay for the stay for a reason. It's only for the stay. <laughs> then you just pretend if you see him on the street that they don't exist. <laughs> So check this. All right. So check this shit out. So recently, uh, I've started a little project, not an experiment, just a project, and, and nothing cool or granulous, right? You know how some people are like, "Oh, I've never did this, so I'll try all of this for however long it takes me," right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of doing something normal like apples or fucking, I don't know, traveling, my dumbass is like, "I've never had monster before." <laughs> so out of the almost fifty flavors. Uh, oh no. no! Oh, I am currently three down. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good way of doing it. That's the yep. like I've never done drugs before. Let me snort some cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like life's been a little dull. Time to spice things up. <laughs> 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 but, but nah, man, it's like. Uh, th th 47 to go and, and I'm starting to fear for my life because I mean some of them I don't know man well what don't tell me you're drinking all of them in one day oh no 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 that'll be a yo I should okay well, listen unless you want your fucking heart to explode limit yourself to one a day <laughs> yeah no nah, no nah, man I want, I want my heart to accelerate so much I fucking just stop no my there's mind. literally after, people after whose hearts have exploded after drinking like nine cans of monster in a day this is what you need to do after you try all the flavors you need to mix them all together and then just take a cup and like drink oh god the no. cup, like, all the flavors and then you call an ambulance fuck <laughs> that as my last act on this earth, as as the last act as a like mortal, the original flavor of monster God. literally tastes like fucking poison. Imagine all of them mixed together like that. That's the point. <laughs> I you can't say you tried them all until you tried them all together. <laughs> uh... Maybe I just hate myself, you know. I I might. God, don't listen. <laughs> just ignore me. 
Honestly. Just masochism at its finest. Yo, that's totally not me, by the way. You guys know I don't do anything that hurts. <laughs> uh, Speak like one, but nah. Just like, yeah, just like, I don't, I don't do anything that hurts, Emily. Fucking like five, like five days later after not doing an assignment. Shit. <laughs> me, me right now. I felt that in my soul. Heaviest thing I do is just the condensed air inside a whipped cream can. I literally spent four hours last night lying in bed contemplating my existence before I realized it was three in the morning and I should probably go to sleep because I have a Zoom class after this. Yeah, you keep trying uh, to do that, you'll just drive yourself crazy. It's just best not to think oh, about it. I, I didn't even yeah, yeah. know I was doing it. I was I, like, my mind was blank. My head was empty. I was just lying there like, it's only been an hour. And then I was like, oh, no, it, it, it's been four. What am I doing? <laughs> then I woke up. <laughs> I like, wow. I like, I like, I shit you not when I say this. I keep ha like, I have all this fucking work piled up all the time for my teachers. Oh yeah, hold that. They have oh. no under, they have no understanding of the idea of hey, even though they're at home, that doesn't make work easier. It actually makes it more difficult. So yeah. I have you a, haven't given uh, them a way to do most of that work. And the assignment she gave, my teacher gave, like I have a two hour, a two and a half hour um, lab, bio lab, and my right. teacher gave a homework assignment that takes. At least, she said, at least this will take you three hours. What? Uh, thank you. At least. A minimum of three hours. And I'm like, who the fuck do you think I am? Oh. Three hours. So do you get off what? on seeing your students suffer? And I'm literally like half asleep, like trying to make coffee. And I'm like, three hours? It's like, realize there's only 24 work. of those shits in a day, right? It's like Jesus Christ. It's like oh, it's like oh, I'm so sorry that like your whole school career was fucking garbage. But could you not do the same thing to me? Oh yeah, it was it was a whole thing. I think my teachers are worried about me because I like my teachers give 24 hours to do tests and then I'm swamped with work and stuff. So like I legit log on at like midnight to get some tests done. Christ, I am yeah. the only I'm one out of us all that isn't in school right now. I honestly, I, I'm oh. like, I should. I, I wish I take took a gap year. Life would be so much less stressful right now. I hey, just I, think oh I was my that God. I remember there were motherfuckers laughing at me for that decision. Who's laughing now, bitch? Yeah, I remember being like, "That's smart for you." I'm gonna go do it, and I'm here like, I want to go home. This he was scary. right. He I'm was fine. right. <laughs> Rocking back and forth, like, Ugh. I don't know how I feel about my college. I just don't know anymore. I was like, I'm having a good time. And then yesterday I was like crying in my bathroom, like, oh, why am I here? Well, yeah, and I woke up um, this morning, like, today's a great day. And but yeah, uh, Trump uh, claims day. that he's going to have a vaccine ready by the end of the year. Regardless, oh, regardless, we're still, even if that is true, we're still going to be wearing masks into 2022. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what they were saying on the debate last night. Uh, yeah, I oh, happened to watch crazy. most of it before I passed out from, you know, just being tired after work. Like, I didn't want to stay yeah. up past midnight watching the fucking debate after I busted my ass for eight hours. But, um, yeah. I was um, like, I want to end my day on a happy note, so good night. And then I did the whole, why am I here contemplation for hours and hours and hours I was in the thinking, dark of my room? I was thinking if the first debate's anything to go off of, I need to watch this to have material for now. Yeah, no. It was a lot more civilized. I think I was looking at memes. Yeah. Oh, really? That's a lot nice. more civilized, but not memes. civilized. It was. it was civilized compared to the first fucking debate. They were still insulting each other oh, out the yeah. ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, But yeah. this time... Like, it was so bad. You have things in China. That last time, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, but um, before oh, I forget... um. Nice. Who built the cells, Joe? <laughs> Who built the cages? <clears throat> That's all I have to say about that. Figure <laughs> it out after I go on like TikTok or something and see all the memes. Something else. Oh, I don't even want to talk about TikTok oh, right now. Wait, I, that's not I all I have to say about there. that. Here's what here's another thing. The moderator was a total fucking pushover. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Like, I, I just want somebody who takes no bullshit to moderate it, so you can just flat out tell the person interrupting to oh, yeah. shut the fuck up. 
Like, yes. imagine that this. Get so Chris bad. Brown to moderate. Yo. Oh, just give them uh, like, a mute button and just your thumbs over. Mute. I think she only used the mute button a total of twice. Like, what the fuck? I would have hit that just for the shits and giggles, like in the middle of a split. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Nah, like, imagine how funny it would be if uh, the next time somebody uh, fucking interrupted and Chris Brown was the moderator, you would have been like, shut the fuck up before I kick your fucking ass. And he just, he, <laughs> he just walks over and he's like, do you want to meet Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, Jesus, Chris. I also, and, and instead of a mute button too, I feel like we should get one of those like curse beepers, like where you, you know what oh, I mean? I know. I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I actually set that up. Yeah, fucking sensor tone. I feel like that'd be funny. I think everyone should have free beep. <laughs> it's like, shut up. You're done. It's just censoring every other word. <laughs> like, what would, like, would it, like, would it automatically know what to filter? Or oh, no, I like, put the in time? front of me and I just, like, hit it at random. Like, yep, we're censoring you now. I was gonna say, like, what if one of the fucking candidates just rips ass, like, in the middle of speaking by accident? <laughs> Does it, like, when it, like, sends out the whole thing while his, like, lips are moving, and everyone's just like, oh my god. I mean, they're insane. both old and senile, so. <laughs> yeah. I'd censor everything except curse words. It'd be like, I think everyone should have free help, beep, but that motherfucker over there. <laughs> it's like, it's like, beep, fucking beep. It's I like, saw a news a headline, <laughs> like, a, a couple hours before it was supposed to start, it was like, the final showdown between President Trump and Vice President Biden is tonight. And they made it sound like it was the goddamn Thunderdome. Exactly. Yeah. Like something really bad. It's like, got something really okay, bad. Okay, um, Honestly, no, are I'm they fighting to the death or something? Because if so, then yeah. I then I gotta uh, leave work early and watch it. <laughs> they're, they're fighting like gladiators, basically. Can you imagine if the debate was like gladiator style? Oh fuck that! Just do like a, just do a, just do a sixteen hundred style duel. Oh no! <laughs> Which one will bathe in the blood of his enemy first? So like, just have like... them start. Just go ten paces, <laughs> then shoot. Like just you know, you know, Revolutionary <laughs> War style. Oh no! <laughs> you don't want me to start thinking about that. <laughs> I just started making Hamilton jokes. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. Just Hamilton that shit. It'll go a lot quicker, and it'll be decided who gets to be president. I mean, it won't be the best decision, but it'll be the quickest. You know what? Hey, Fuck that. What Let's go a step farther. Smash Bros game. That will be the most entertaining <laughs> of all 2020. God damn it, with you and the effects again. I actually bought it. <laughs> you <laughs> bought that just for this bit. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. That is I dedication. That is fucking dedication. <laughs> just take the two candidates, put them in a WWE ring, and then yes. fight. Hey, oh, that's yeah. the thing. That could work. Trump has history in the WWE. He was in WrestleMania 23. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, we have to watch everything everything we, loops back together. <laughs> we have to put we have to make this trending. Yeah, it was like oh Trump got his best guy, Vince McMahon got his best guy. Uh loser had to shave their head. And Trump won. <laughs> I remember mm -hmm. that. I remember I watching like they that. fight themselves. Like, I don't want any professionals. I just want to be too old and go at it. It's like it's like, like, time to lose the hair. Trump is in the oh. WWE cinematic universe. I love it so much. This cinematic unit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Speaking of which, um, those two fucking twins, I don't know what I don't know where they're from, but the fucking the Davinci fucking twins or whatever the fuck. Oh, they're I actually wrestlers. Like I didn't realize it, but I until I fucking saw them. They're actually wrestlers. I've got a great fucking topic relating to wrestling. Okay? Um do you have anything else to say about yours, or or can I go? Because I really want to fucking no, share no, this. No, you got it, you got it. All I'm right, so, so you know how with sports, they can't have people in the arenas, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, they compensated by getting a bunch of people on screens and then just displaying those screens around the arena to make it look like it's a packed house, right? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, but uh, people, like, uh, they're doing a small amount of vetting for WWE shows, 
and um, they just let them in. But here's the problem with that. Here's what happened. In the crowds, there was a guy jerking off. The KKK oh, okay. made an appearance. Um, somebody so everything's just coming back, huh? Somebody <laughs> displayed a still image of Chris Benoit, a wrestler who uh, committed a murder-suicide. He killed his family, then killed himself. And uh, oh my God. Super Mario made an appearance. Uh, what? It's me. But yeah, here's what yeah. I was thinking. They had to have seen this coming. Come on. There was no way they didn't. I, I refuse I to believe that they were that the stupid. Coming. Yeah. Wait, but they come on, they had coming. to know that people would have come in and, and trolled it. 4chan lives for raiding this type of shit. Come on. You should have seen it coming. Like, I saw it coming. I was half expecting you to say that, like, everybody that was there in the crowd just started fucking wrestling among themselves, or, like, started wrestling with the wrestlers. But I was not expecting to, for you to start it off by saying a guy was just jerking yeah, the, off the crowd. Yeah, a guy jerking off the KKK. Now, uh, their vetting process is a lot more strict, but, like, come on, dude. You should have seen that coming. This is the crossover I didn't know we needed. It's a crossover yeah. we don't deserve. I found the Chris Dude. Benoit appearance to be especially fucked up but hilarious. Like, Oh my god. Oh man, like, come on. That was just a... It was so funny. Holy fucking cannoli, no. man. <laughs> Boy, I sure do uh. hope somebody got fired for that blunder. The same guy who, like, who, like, who fucking okayed mm -hmm. the clearance is sitting there in the office right now, just like, just maybe, just maybe, my boss won't send my f***ing head to the <laughs> ceiling. Just maybe. <laughs> Times. Oh, you know what? I have a, I have a, I have a custom voice thing that oh, I'm, also well, set up, but I'm afraid to use it. Do it. You mentioned it. Now you gotta. I apologize for your ears in advance. Uh oh. Oh. Before I do this, I would I would just like to thank today's sponsor, Verve. Verve is a online free shut shut the fuck up. We are not actually sponsored. Don't get me in trouble. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> we <were sponsored>. Red. <laughs> what? Again. Red. <laughs> I just wanted oh to say God. bread out loud. Oh, um, I love the Google fact Play. That every episode, you change your voice. <laughs> Google Play Music is no longer a thing. They discontinued that service. Ooh, why wow. is that? They replaced <laughs> it with YouTube Music. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I have YouTube music <laughs> now. Um, some of my songs, the quality is absolute dog shit because they only have one recording, and it was from the fucking 90s. Ouch. Yay to capitalism. Yay. I'm clapping. Yay. Yay. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to the cave. Capitalism oh, um, can't find me in the cave. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tanky. But, um, uh, so there's... In our area, there is a Halloween parade going on, and uh, yeah, they're set to do it regardless of the pandemic. Now, you may be thinking, how are they going to pull that off and still follow guidelines? Oh, by just doing the dumbest shit ever. They're going to have the floats be completely still, and people are going to drive by them. It's a reverse parade. What? Yeah, they're just going to have the floats stand, <laughs> stand static in the middle of the fucking road. And people are just going to drive by them, and they're just going to toss fucking candy into the fucking windows. Dude, okay. I want to be This sounds like an accident waiting to happen. This is such a stupid yeah, fucking stupid. idea. You know what? They're going to do that for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I bet you that. Uh, Dude, listen, listen, listen. Imagine anyone else feel like an accident waiting to happen? Imagine working on a float oh. and you just get to fucking pelt kids with candy. That seems amazing. And you get to be paid for it. Nah, dude, I'm just gonna have a fucking slingshot. Oh, no. 
<laughs> it's not gonna be with candy. It's gonna be with rocks, knowing you. Me. I mean, not me. I would never like get a fucking kid. jawbreaker. <laughs> you can prove. <laughs> Just shoot oh the God. fucking driver Actually, with the fucking thing. You guys are talking about like <laughs> helping people down here, like kidding kids. I'd never do that unless you uh, you wouldn't catch me. Um, hey. With a mind as fucked as mine, it's through. easy to see how this could go wrong. Like you you see how it could go wrong, right? I've been saying oh, that since movie. you mentioned it. Like, there's gonna be a car accident or five, yeah, or ten, uh, or twenty. Someone's gonna die. I'm all it takes it is now. for oh, the oh, driver oh, of a car to get beamed in the fucking head. And then he just stops the car, up. whole thing's at a fucking standstill, people are beeping and shit, somebody's probably gonna get rear-ended, there's gonna be damage, it's gonna be a total fucking disaster, I'm calling it I right now. I can't wait to wake up and read the headline, Halloween parade, death scene, you know, like, it's gonna happen. Regardless, right, if there's yeah. an update to this in the next episode, I'm gonna say it's a disaster, because, <laughs> you know, that, that would be funnier. I'm calling it now, yeah. with your bets, how many people are going to die. I am fake news. Dude, imagine that. You're just like looking at the newspaper for whatever reason. You're just like, hmm. The newspaper? Like, what are we talking about? Elderly man crashes his car to float because he gets fucking candy in his eyes. Freak Ooh. parade accident kills 27. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All Authorities children. are calling it a COVID related oh, yeah. issue. All children. I. Okay, so. I feel actually what they're probably gonna like end up doing after a while is like they're gonna tell people like don't even drive your cars just walk past the floats because I feel like if you're driving there's gonna be a lot of people who want to walk and just do it that way so I feel like someone's gonna run over another person's kid. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Okay, so yeah, I can see that happening too. Like, yeah, you're you're not gonna... excuses, like, I, I see, I see what you're saying. John Cena, I couldn't see them. Okay, so there was a puppy. <laughs> There was a puppy that was just born in Italy that was born with a naturally green hue green? to it. Oh, yeah. Named him Pistachio, right? Yeah, Pistachio. Aww. I was just looking Wait, at that. green hue on him? Yeah, it's Boy. naturally green. Hold on, I gotta, hold on, I gotta see this with my own eyes. Anyone like, else get that reference? Just me? Uh -huh. Hormel is giving away bacon-scented face masks so you can smell bacon everywhere you go. Cool. Now I love ba I love oh bacon, my. but my god, that is cursed. Yeah. Uh, who wants to? Sm I, oh, uh. that is Dude, fucking cursed. Getting like fucking mask breath is fucking nasty enough because after a while it just smells like fucking hot. Like I don't even know how to describe it. Just uh. nasty. But oh my a god! Fucking puppy with green fur. Hello, I gotta see a picture. You should have called him Beast what the Boy. Fuck? <laughs> oh, oh my God. okay okay he i mean puppies are cute but like they're, they're, hey. okay. he, you can tell he's like just a newborn like he literally just slid out he slid out <laughs> slid out <laughs> Very <fun. I'm> fine. <laughs> oh my god it's not coronavirus i promise you <laughs> oh, speaking of coronavirus, guess who got randomly selected to do her school's random COVID testing? My school does random COVID testing. Guess who had to wake up at the ass crack of dawn to get tested, even though she's an introvert and doesn't interact with people? Ooh. Answers Wait, me. You were getting tested, or did you have to test students? Oh, I had to get tested. They're not. I'm not in charge of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, like, if they made students where just they... randomly test other students, it'd be the fucking dumbest thing ever. No, uh, I, I think they. It's, um, the ho there's a nearby hospital because small town, campus. Anyway, right. and they show up and test us. Look at him, pistachio. Oh, Speaking I'm of cute cool. babies, that's I what my birds have been up to, guys. What's up? Making babies. Then, oh, no, they're, they're infant. They're not infants, but you know what I mean. No. Um, apparently, avocado, my baby bird, who looks like an avocado. You know what? I'm just going to... He he does this thing where you know how avocado is the quiet bird where he just mm -hmm. watches you silently and plays yeah. murder. Janelle says that sometimes she'll go downstairs for a snack and she'll hear him mumbling in a corner and then she'll look at him and he'll look at her and he'll just stop and stare <laughs> and then the minute she backs up out of sight he'll start mumbling to himself again. Avocado um, is planning your all of your deaths. <laughs> he's planning the murder. I know. Yeah, exactly. So that's weird. not a bird. That's the lich. It's like he's just, you motherfuckers better pray I never get out of this cage. I'll fucking kill y'all. Your bird speaks in pure Latin. 
the purest of forms. Just speaks the language of demons. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm I... telling you, man. That I've got a pretty funny man. story here. So, um, you guys have seen. Uh, I'm a picture of it. You guys remember the Steve and Super Smash favorite. Bros. thing? Uh huh. Yeah, they just released a patch um, because his victory thing was showing him eating a steak, right? But it stayed in his hand, making oh, him look God. like he had a dick in the victory screen. So they had to patch that out. Uh, what? Yeah. No, hold on. What? It... <laughs> Wait. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rapidly typing, Clack. he's gotta find this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hacker in the chat, I sent a picture of Avocado, the menace. He doesn't look like a menace in that photo, but you know, you can see it in his eye. Right. Explaining things. The eye just says it all. I don't understand. What do you mean? Just. Oh! <laughs> oh, right. That is the face no, of a cold blooded it. killer, Emily. Yes, I know. I don't so get it, though. Though. He's just holding the shmeat. Yeah, but um, you know, it looks like he it looks like he's holding his dick. So they patched it out. Oh my yeah, you're right. Oh. <laughs> Everyone oh, at Nintendo has I a dirty of mind as I do, I expect apparently. Someone to drop a photo in the chat. Never forget hashtag Brian, never forget to me. Screenshot. Don't update Smash Bros if you want to keep the meat cut. <laughs> I wanna see my man Shmeet. <laughs> My boy Steve oh, is packing. Oh, no. Damn, he girthy, man. That's my profile <laughs> picture. Dream. Being a Fuck menace man. as well. Here, hold on. Uh, I have two birds, by the way, in case anyone cared who was listening in. I, I, assholes. I think people would can uh, determine that from previous episodes. He talked about your birds. Oh yeah, I've mentioned that I Facetime uh, them. At least two okay. other episodes. Yeah. Dreen, my other bird, the he girl. likes to lick the screen when I FaceTime because he thinks he can touch me, but he can't. It's great. So why right. is he, wait. Spend I mean, longer talking to my his bird body against it, or maybe his face, but why does he lick But that's it? what he does, because he, he likes to lick things. Tange, Tange is weird. Mm. He's a weird I mean, bird. But I don't can. want to say nothing, but I, 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 I think... Dreen's like a dog. If you pet him and let him lick things, he's fine. Mm-hmm. Avocado is like a cat. If you touch him, he'll kill you. <laughs> Just starts poking him from a like, distance. Oh no, he 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 dropped. I I'm <laughs> not saying I speak from experience. I mean, I can pet his little head sometimes. Uh, if I remember else. one of the very few times I actually went over to your house, and like we were either picking you up or we were doing something there. I or remember one of like the few times. Did you didn't you up. give me like a whole ass gingerbread house to eat or something? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, probably. I I remember that too because you're just like, hey, I have gingerbread. It's like a few days old, and like Mike's just like, cool. Uh, I'll take I it. Have a piece. Yeah, and you're just like, here, have it. And, and like, then oh. I had to drop something off at Kate's house. So yeah, I saw you. Yeah, and so I thought you <laughs> yeah, had what the. And Jamie and Orion were just both dying laughing in the car because they thought I was going in for a kiss, but really I was just, you know, going in for a bite. I think I think I think Jamie God. still has that video on her phone to this day. It's it was Wait, so it's fucking video, funny. Oh my. It was like I can't even tell you oh how hard God. we were fucking it's like, like wheezing. And, and it only <laughs> hit me the second I got back into the car what that must have looked like. <laughs> dude, 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 you had so much just gingerbread on you. Eat. You had so much. And you just you walk into the door with just gingerbread in hand. You like, I don't remember if you knocked your ring, but I just remember like you're just sitting there you idly the tapping your foot. You yeah. like look over in the general direction of the car and just start fucking eating more. <laughs> you just have to be so honest. Much I walk out and I'm like, expect you to oh. take all of it. Like, oh my god. I mean, it anyway. wasn't gonna get eaten anyway. I don't like. I like building them. I just don't like eating them, and that's a problem. I mean, so. I mean, if it was any consolation, it was fucking good. Well, I'm glad. Anyway. Somebody ate it, so it worked out. Hell yeah. I'll I'll hit you up again. Michael eat anything. Hell yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If you build another gingerbread house this year and you don't want it, I will collapse. What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Yeah, Earthquake? Earthquake? Did you just get your ass kicked or something, Orion? <laughs> nah, man. I just remembered about Steve's meat, so I had to type it back in. <laughs> no, like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I'm thinking about this. that. <laughs> um, on my fucking voice thing, um, you know, there's different presets, and there's even ones I can make, and one of them it's literally just like the fucking gain is so strong on it that anything I do sounds like a fucking bass boost. But if I talk through it, mind your ears, by the way. It's fucking abysmal. <laughs> it's so bad. Yes. So like, wow. you know, me remembering Steve's meat, like... <laughs> okay, okay. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, guys, we are out of time right now. Is there anything else yeah. anyone wants to say? Ooh. Have fun. You Bring had fun? For Christmas. <laughs> All right. Glad, glad you had fun, Kate. Um, this has been Children of the Corona. Uh, I'm your host, Mike Osiris. Um, a link to Kate's channel will be in the description. That's Caitlin Sings. Um, and uh, yep. we will catch you in the next episode.